All right, so Knight, first pick Silas. <clears throat> Will we get the Azir from Rookie? I don't think that Rookie's Azir is actually that insane. I feel, feel like that's the champion that he actually kind of struggles on, which is weird because he's he's had good uh, Azir historically, but yeah, just recently it just hasn't looked great. Will they go Cog Lulu? Looks like it's Cog Lulu from Jackie Love, and then it'll be Nami on three. Well, here's the thing. If you go Nami on three, then Azir's getting banned. Maybe they just don't care. So Rich wants to take Nar here. Oh, he goes Orin. Okay. So Wayward likes playing Sejuani. I'm surprised that they banned the Jax if they go for Orin. So Sejuani here, and I would assume it's going to be Viego because that's kind of TN's champion. But Viego has lost Pryo. They could maybe go Zin if they want more frontline. I think Sejuani would definitely be the answer. I mean, in LPL, Sejuani actually looks fine versus Orin, which is... Not how it's been looking in LCS, but yeah, it's the Juan Viego. Huge amount of valuable ultimates over tonight with that top side in Rich, in Shaolong Bao. That guy's just dead. On Rich right this wayward getting a little bit low again. See, Rich. dude, this is what TN does. Oh, TN he just pretends to be the goat. Be I mean, XLB can't do anything. This is this is kind of the weird thing about um, v 5s draft is their early game is just not as good. There's way more fighting that could be done early around, like the Silas Viego, the Viego Sejuani bot lane will just win by itself. So it feels like um, V5 is just playing one of those. Look at that One of the, they're playing like an NA or EU draft. They're playing a Western draft. Uh, he might get TES, they're playing the, the the LPL draft. The LPL draft is like first pick Silas that has no counters. And it's just gonna be what about his ear? Fuck his ear. So I would assume that that V5 should just not contest this, right? Like this is something that should just go directly towards um. Oh TS, but XLB, they're assuming that he's on Drake and he actually went behind. This is good. This is good. This is really good from XLB. He should just start with his ulti. Good. Played it really well. Played it really well. That's perfect. Foda could kill that. Okay. They finish him off with the wave because they're trying to greet out um. Ulties, but yeah, that was disrespectful from TS. They obviously got baited by the fact that they had a ward. They thought they had full coverage. They had a ward in Pixel and they had a ward in River. But Wukong ended up dodging the ward in Pixel, going over the wall, and then hitting bot lane. So it's the fake vision. You know, this Pixel ward from Blue Team doesn't actually give you vision of the pit like completely. So if you walk in through the bottom side of the pit and then you, um, yeah, you you can get over the wall. Other team is not going to see you. BLG out for playoffs? Not technically, not yet. BLG, they don't have any more games, right? So they're minus four. They're locked in minus four. So. If OMG loses 0-2 uh, to IG, then BLG would be over OMG because they would have similar games. They'd have same game score, and then BLG just beat OMG recently. And then obviously, if TT goes 0-2, like if they lose to both Ultra Prime and RA, which seems very unlikely, but if they do lose to both of those, um, then BLG would just have uh, yeah, an, an extra win. Okay, TN actually, the GOAT ends up hitting the spike. There, no? Here. TES, they're going in. Okay, Wayward here's the engage. Wayward's just dead here. They can just play front to back. I mean, this is what favors V5 currently. Yeah, V5 is actually playing like a team. Not bad. Still down a little bit of gold, but I think that they're okay with this. I mean, it's weird, right? Because you have Cog Lulu on one side, and normally you'd think Cog Lulu would outscale. But it feels like Lucian Nami scaling is actually not that bad. And I feel like the, the front to back is just the pure team fighting from like Wukong, Orianna, and and uh, and Orin combined with the Nami wave will probably give them an advantage. But LDR was more penetration. Maybe maybe they changed it. Maybe they nerfed it. Uh, uh, 30% armor penetration for LDR, isn't it 25? Sorrel does. Now, the return for V5. Foda gets the kill onto Tien, and now afterwards... Oh, it is 30%. Oh, okay. So just be the... Wait, when did they buff that, actually? It used to be five more. Or maybe did they nerf LDR? Well, this fight, like, just pretty much ends the game because they get buried off of it. It wasn't even that much of a fight. You know, front to back, V5's just going to win. Well, I guess the game will end on where I say, hold on. So, I mean, this here, they just kill TN. TN's not able to ult. And after this, they're just flash forward onto Jackie Love. And then they know that Wayward is no flash here. Keep on going. I mean, Knight can't go onto anyone here. He's aiming for Photic. Even if he hits that, it's not like anything's going to happen. Knight is trying to flash the wall onto Photic, but Photic just knows. All right, so they're making their play. This is their this is their shot. I mean, Rookie's gonna go down here, or is he? I guess he's not gonna go down. Well, okay. Well, out of the replay, they tried to make a play off the side lane. 
Beast, looks like Rich just TP'd up to save Mark. his boy. Top Mark is dead. Jackie Love is for top Can they make it more? dead too, I think. Yeah, back. Jackie Love is dead too. Night might live though. But it ain't gonna be much here. Top Holy sh V5 is back or what? They they need to play us. What are the major they strengths and weaknesses late, of the top four teams? It's already gone the way of I mean, top uh, like so top really, esports. Really I, I would just say that we're just seeing the weakness right now is that they play a lot of these comps that are extremely high execution. So if they have a bad game or if they don't have like a super good early game, a lot of the time like they could just fall behind and lose. Um, also, like their mid to late is not the best. I mean, RNG's weakness is super obvious. Their early game, they just like they they troll a lot. You know, essentially they have to come back in every single game they play because they've been just running it. All right, Photic just takes off. Off that guy's head. Knight's head is just gone. Okay. Uh, JDG. Will JDG's weakness even be? I mean, I think that if it becomes this type of meta with like tank tops, like that's good for 369, but I think the, the mid lane meta of. If it becomes like Oriana and shit like that, I don't think that's the best for your gal. I mean, your gal's a playmaking mid laner. I would say out of the other 80 carries in the um in the top four, kind of tough to say. But out of the 80, other 80 carries in the top four, Hope is probably the worst one, even though he is pretty good. game number one. They have the nexus in front of them, but they want the kills. They want the KDA, and they want Jackie Love. That's gonna. I mean, JDG, they're, they're the team that that wins fast and loses loses fast. They make a lot of plays. Their plays fail. Slumps game gets are ended. Not to be found here. And I would say, like, posture, V5 just is play. probably the Phenomenal the team that the doesn't board. have, like, the comeback Four in them. You know, like, if V5 gets behind, they kind of just slowly lose. The they don't really have a good rookie, grasp on which plays are going to, like, allow them to make their mark into a game when you watch v5 play it's like when they play games like that it looks super controlled right that's why when when v5 goes on win streaks people say it's like oh my god how can you beat these teams and then you'll see the games where they're like down 3k like there's a couple early ganks that get off by the enemy team and then i think rich is like generally a huge liability um if it becomes a tank meta that's probably good for v5 like if this is what the meta ends up being where it's just sejuani orin uh nar is something that that rich can play pretty well then I think that they'll be a fine team. I think that Rich, in terms of like pure skill, is outclassed by the other top laners, um, just in like the top six, for example. Besides for maybe Flandre, and even even Flandre, I think is more carry potential than than Rich. Rich has not been good this split. So yeah, when you compare him to three six nine, who's been just like essentially just a better version of Rich. When you compare him to Breathe, he just doesn't have the ability to match them, uh, match up with them. The shy is better than Rich. I mean, it's just they can get top gapped pretty hard in their games. What's Weibo's biggest weakness? Well, they just have games where they run at the down i mean generally they're they're pretty throw prone like they when they get around objectives they just do things that don't make sense a lot of the time and, and like they just have a lot of int in them bro weibo has a lot of int in them as a team like the shy he'll i mean he ha he's been better about it recently but you know the shy has games where he just completely sprints it hasn't been happening recently in like the last five six weeks i feel like he's been solid you know yeah i mean just the shy and on on the same team bro you're just gonna have games where you just have people absolutely sprinting it way biggest issue is just inconsistency also there there's like i mean individual flaws from that team sfm over farms at points there's times where sfm is just completely invisible whereas like most lpl junglers will at least be present on objectives seems like there's some games where like sfm only farms and you see almost nothing else first pick yumi for tes here so i'm wondering if we do end up getting something like a ezreal here maybe like an mf for jackie love i just don't know what else they'd play if the sivir gets taken away i think yumi is broken though i, I personally think yumi is broken i don't think it's worth trying to counter this pick most of the time i mean i see people try to counter this shit all the time i see lucian nami i see lulu lanes just seems like every single counter to yumi i see doesn't work you know people try to play Rakan into it oh they're, they're are they really gonna go Senna Tom into Yumi I thought Yumi was supposed to be good into Senna Tom I mean Photic and PB God they love Senna Tom it's like one of their absolute best lanes that they play it just seems weird to give them Sivir Yumi and then play Senna Tom into it especially when you have a Wukong like the identity of Senna Tom with Wukong just doesn't make sense because Senna Tom like is more like disengage and it's healing and you kite out the fight and then on the other side Wukong wants to just like go in so and I think thematically here, V5 has an issue already. Okay, they end up going Senna Seraphine. Yeah, they played Senna Seraphine before, actually. Still think it's weird to play Seraphine, though, into, like, Trundle. Like, Senna Seraphine, isn't this Seraphine just gonna die to TN's ganks? Okay, so Rookie on the Silas takes it away this time from Knight. And I guess he just assumes that he has good enough ults here to steal. 
like the trundle is, is actually pretty good on um on silas there's this weird dynamic where the person who ults first loses when you uh when you play trundle into silas you always want to be the guy that's ulting second and it's the aatrox top i mean aatrox is supposed to be good into gragas but is rich going to be able to win lane hard enough to exploit that if i were to to look at this like normally considering how these teams played i would say that this would be ts favored but then again like maybe i mean ts has just been a better team than than v5 the split so who wins front to back i mean later on who wins front to back it should be should be top i think yumi like uh, sivir is so good front to back number one also like aatrox is like kind of sus but i mean v5 shouldn't be looking for front to back right like they should be looking for you know wukong getting an angle aatrox getting an angle silas on a side like front to back should be really favored for ts my biggest criticism of Long Bao has been that he's constantly listening to rook people like rookie who's in trouble yeah, hey rookie he the, uh, no flash now back in. He's kill in him serious trouble now the king he and the goat nice bro early path the and go i swear this guy gets a kill every game pre six what a beast still don't believe in him too and this one i'll never believe in this guy i've been holding a grudge for a year already better not give up on it now like everything got buffed so it's 12 11 they reduced the strength of grievous but then they buffed the stats on the item so all right, they're going out to PB God. I mean, they should be able to kill PB God here, but they'll die as a result. Yeah, Mark, Mark is CC'd here, so he's not going to be able to go back. Oh, yeah. XLB gets it. Can Knight answer onto XLB? He answers onto XLB, but Rookie is in here now. Oh, he hit the chain, but he had to flash out because Tien flashed. We got a scrap here, boys. Let's go. I'll update center stacks when I can, yeah. Very low. He's got the subjugation. He's gonna pop it onto Tien. He has the Kingslayer if he wants to get some healing. Knight has to back away as well. But B5, they want to chase, and they're actually using a lot of the speed up. Rich is over the wall. They're flashing. Okay, they're on Tien. Tien is no flash here. Tien's just dead. Huge. Jackie Love left The rich TP. And Mark, you're not attached to anybody. That's huge. Oh my God, it's like a game-winning play. Wait, B5 actually in form? It's weird because. Top has normally been the team that beat V5. So it's like RNG countered top. Top countered V5. And then V5 did well against JDG. That was always like the dynamic between the teams. But it's a little bit shaken up here. I mean, people that watch me like every day. I mean, most of the information will be just a combination of stuff I say on stream. And just, you know, a little bit of like. A little bit of research. Get some stats in there to justify what I'm saying. Tien is beyond dead, by the way. He is so dead. He just ran it straight down. See? I told you, bro. The last say, full sports, split trade, where he's been playing out. great, it was it's this really moment right here where you can tell he's bad. Knight is just trying to force told you guys he was bad. In terms of individual games, top esports is 27 and 7. That's crazy. I mean, to be fair, V5 is 26 and 9, but the thing was that like V5's lost a lot of those nine games recently. We saw this last game. They are so quick to pull the trigger. They got beat by OMG. I mean, even like the games that they won, right? Like so V5 dropped the game to Ultra Prime. I mean, you're not getting this done, Knight. Now you better calm down. Dude, this is actually a surprising win for V5, at least for me. When I saw the drafts, I just I did not think that this was gonna go well for them. Yeah, V5 should have lost um to BLG. They did not look good in their series versus BLG, even though they two owed them. They lost to OMG. It's like a really hype series. Ooh, this is good for TS. Gonna kill off the PB God. No one else has to die, but Wukong using his flash is actually big here. Everfrost ever feel good? Not really after the nerfs, but I mean, I think here there's an argument for it. Hey, wait, Rich got chained. Oh no, the cask. Oh, he thought he could get him, like, just he, he could keep it in range with it, but it ended up saving him. I mean, that's a good time to group up and use ultis because it's 120 before Drake. So that's a good attempt from TES there. Getting out the flash is big. Now they should, now they got to go and catch bot lane. Now is, is when people go to side lane. So you see how TES, they, they make that play a minute, 20 seconds before Drake. They throw their ultis out, knowing that they're going to be up for the Drake. And then they go to their side lanes immediately, catch one, push one. And then now they'll they'll go back to the Drake. Then they're, they're going to regroup. And then go to the Drake. So Knight will probably stop pushing after this wave, I would assume. He does have TP, so maybe he just like greeds to, to get that turret or something. Like try to keep on getting damage to the turret. But normally you'll see them then group as five and go to Drake. So this is some, some LPL macro. I think it's one of the, the things that I see. This is a good timer from LPL uh, that they, they hit pretty frequently. It's like the one minute and a half, two minutes before Drake. Group up, look for a pick. Throw your ult at somebody, get a flash, then go back, catch your side lanes, and then group up as five again. Now they're they're using their uh yeah they're using this timer to just hit mid turret, but now they're gonna go to Drake. I mean V5 don't need to contest this. They don't they're not forced to contest this. 
But it looks like they are. They will have some priority from mid lane, and the Spirit Visage has been completed for Rift. Trying to get the angle here. Knight's in pretty decent position. XLB gets chunked pretty hard here. XLB with that chunk, I feel like they should give it, bro, because they don't have enough sustain for XLB. Like, Yumi loves fights like this. Oh my god, he's dead. He's dead. He got Boomerang Blade. This is going to be huge for top. Oh my god, this is where they can come back. They're on to Rookie. Rookie got Trundle ulted here. He goes into Stopwatch. Knight's in. Knight got... Okay. Oh, Wayward flashed in. Seraphine is just gaming here or what? Damn, they still lost that? Oh, it's his gold there. Just get blood, but not that many kills. I mean, the Oblong looks pretty useless this game. Constantly getting these help bars topped up. Oh, okay, yeah. Knight gets the pick. He needs to keep I don't think they can do this anymore, can they? Like, Knight, Knight has TP, even if he wants it. And Wayward has TP in 18. I mean, I guess the Drake goes to, to TS still. Knight is, like, kind of chunked here. PB God has ult. I mean, Senna is the only champion that's not going to have ult here. Let's see how it goes. Of V5 over this the crab. I mean, more important than the Drake here is the fight. And oh, Wayward's fight. getting one shot. Wayward just got Wayward. absolutely one shot because they know that Knight is trying to flank, so they just go the forward instead. Goes wide. Knight still just edging uh, TS need to give it now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a give angle. He tries to take down XLP, but he can't do it. And that's Dragon. Wow, this, look at this, bro. Two Morellos. I don't know if, uh, dude, I, okay. Look, I hyped up Morello like 20 minutes ago. I don't know if double Morello plus Putrefire is needed. That seems a little bit overkill. That's all I'm saying. Nice on the side. Rich. He's a little bit tanky though, and I need to be careful. Tien is the benefactor though. And oh, they happen. kill Rich. It's big. Knocks it down. Rich is already gone. The XLB. They they they, they, they really tried to commit out to XLB. Oh, Tien's dead. That's a great ulti from Seraphine. Wait, that Seraphine ulti was huge. Man, it was four v five. Seraphine ult just changed everything there. I feel like TS should have been happy with the just the one pick. I mean, they should be really trying to get the Sivir to IE. They might lose Baron now. I, mean, I think they just do lose Baron. I don't really see how they can contest this. I mean, V5 doesn't have the most damage in the world. I guess there's that. I don't know. I just don't feel like they have damage. I don't think they can contest this. Yeah, no, they, they can't contest this at all. It's bad from top. I don't know what they're doing. Slow Baron, but there's no damage that could come out of TS. They need Jackie Love's damage in every fight. Oh, he jukes them. <laughs> LeBlanc gaming, all right. I don't know, bro. This uh, Lee Audrey's Morello Gragas looks fucking useless. Boss, top esports are crumbling. V5 are picking them out. No way. XLB goes. XLB dies though. I mean, this like Jackie Love's free hitting. Any does he have IE yet? He does, right? Oh, he's flashing. Okay, Jackie Love. On the backside, it's two down for V5. Okay, Jackie Love. Trying to make a miracle happen. Knight on the side. Jackie. Holy. We're sivering? Okay, never mind. Where he just murdered him. Well, yes, this is definitely this is definitely is a match fix. Yeah, TS would want a match fix right now. They definitely want to match fix a match that determines if they get top two and potentially goes to worlds, could potentially win worlds. This would be one that would make a lot of sense to match fix, right? Is there Silas said differently? Oh, the night Silas is generally the, the the scarier of the two Silas in this series, but wow, XLB really just said that. Okay, respect XLB. Just walks up through everything, starts eating the. Like turret up, shots, whatever, doesn't give a f you might have gets a the turret and flashes in. in the mid lane, constantly dominating the golden damn. Left hand of night and B5 upset. You know they feel good about that one. Questions were you know they feel good about that one. Alright. Alright, so for standings, for standings, this doesn't today doesn't matter too too much for standings right now. We'll go over standings uh just in the context of what this series means. Essentially, all that we get here, V5 is still gonna is still locked into um top four. They've been locked into top four. They're pretty much guaranteed to be the fourth team. I mean, they're plus 19. Maybe they could be the third team if RNG somehow loses, but RNG losing to um LGD. Yeah, RNG is not losing to LGD, bro. I, I, I can't see that happening. RNG losing to LGD, I can't imagine it. So essentially, all this means is that now top esports has to beat anyone's legend in order to get top two. If they drop the game to anyone's legend, and LG, provided that LGD loses to RNG, then RNG and JDG will be um, top two spots. So JDG is pretty happy about this, but they're not out of the woods yet. Uh, if RNG 2-0s LGD, then JDG is third because, and obviously if top esports beats anyone legend, because RNG has the head-to-head -head win over um, JDG, so they would be tied plus 18, and the tiebreak would be the head-to-head, -head, which RNG has. So 
RNG is still looking like they're in good spot. As long as they 2-0 LGD, they'll be top two. Top Esports now has to beat anyone's legend. Doesn't matter the game score. If they beat anyone's legend, then they should go on. Yeah, that's what this means. 